Zip Tie Domes presents How to Use a Geodesic Dome Calculator Part 2 The Cost Calculation and Material Utilization Chart Before you cut your struts, let's talk about a tool to help you use your pipe material in the most efficient manner. First, go to our website at www.ziptiedomes.com. Go to the dome calculators at the top of the navigation bar and select the 3V58 dome calculator. In this video, we will, we will be talking about the cost calculation and material utilization chart. You can access this chart by scrolling down the page manually. But that gets tedious, so you can also click on the Cost of Materials link at the top of the section to go to the Cost Calculation and Material Utilization chart. And then click on the Dome Calculator link to scroll back up. So to use the chart, let's create a dome with a 26 foot diameter. Now hit the Calculate button. Notice that the blue struts are 5 feet 4 and 3 eighths inches in length, the yellow struts are 5 feet 3 inches in length, and the red struts are 4 feet 6 and 3 eighths inches in length. Now let's go to the cost and material utilization chart. We see that the length of the pipe that we will use to cut our struts is set by default to 10 feet. We can change this to any length, but pipe and conduit in the United States usually comes in 10 foot or 20 foot lengths. We also see that, that the cost per pipe is set to $4.50. This can also be changed. We see that the blue A strut length that's been entered is 5.361 feet, which is actually 5 feet 4 and 3 eighths inches. This length is more than half the length of the 10 foot pipe that is being cut, and so it is a very inefficient length. The next line tells us that the number of 10 foot pipes needed to create 80 struts will be 80, as the entire piece of 10 foot pipe is needed to cut a strut that is over 5 feet long. The waist for each pipe will be 4 feet 7 and 5 eighths inches for the first 79 pipes as well as the last pipe. The total waste in creating these 80 blue struts will be over 371 feet of pipe. As we scroll down we see nearly the same amount of waste with the yellow struts as they are also over 5 feet in length. The total waste in creating the, the 55 yellow struts will be over 261 feet of wasted pipe. The red struts are shorter than 5 feet long, and we are able to get two struts from every 10 foot section of pipe. So to create the 30 red struts, only 15 pieces of 10 foot pipe are needed. The waste in creating the 30 red struts creates only 14 feet of wasted pipe. If we were to build this dome with no modifications, it would take 150 pieces of 10 foot pipe and would cost $675 to manufacture it. Let's see how we can improve this cost. So click on the dome calculator link. The blue struts on every calculator are always the longest struts. Let's set these blue struts to exactly 5 feet in length and recalculate the dome. Instead of a 26 foot diameter dome, we now have a dome with a diameter of a little bit over 24 feet in diameter and 14 feet tall in the center. Click on the cost of materials link. We see there is now absolutely no waste for our blue struts. The 80 struts can be made with only 40 pieces of 10 foot pipe. The yellow pipe has much less waste as well and requires only 28 pipes to create 55 struts. Each pipe produces two yellow struts with only 2 and 5 eighths inches of waste left over. 
On the last pipe, since 55 is an odd number of struts, there will be a 5 foot section of waste on the last pipe. The total weight for the yellow struts will be a little over 10 feet in length. The 30 red struts still require 15 pieces of pipe to manufacture them, with 1 foot 6.5 inches of waste on each pipe, which is unavoidable. Total waste for creating the 30 red struts is 23 feet. Total waste for all struts is now just over 34 feet. The number of uncut pipe needed is now 83 pieces of pipe for the 24 foot diameter dome as compared to 150 pieces of pipe needed for the 26 foot diameter dome. And the total cost of materials has been lowered from $675 for the 26 foot dome down to 373.50 for the 24 foot dome. Now this is the total for pipe that costs $4.50 for each piece of 10 foot PVC pipe. But I know that if I buy from Lowe's with a volume discount I can get this pipe for $3.50 each not $4.50 each. So I want to recalculate this at a lower price. Scroll down and we see the price is lower to $290.50. Let's look at some other optimal dome sizes. It is best to work with the blue struts for utilization efficiency as they are always the longest dome struts on every calculator. Let's put 3.3333 in the length of the blue strut field which is one third of a 10 foot piece of pipe. Click Calculate. This creates a dome with a diameter of 16 feet. As we scroll down, we can see that every piece of 10 foot pipe creates three blue struts with no waste, except on the very last pipe as 80 struts are not evenly divisible by three. The same is true for the 55 yellow struts with only the last pipe not fully utilized, as 55 is also not divisible by 3. The 30 red struts create 3 struts from every 10 foot section of pipe with 1 foot 6 and a half inches left over as waste. Since 30 struts is divisible by 3, the waste on the last pipe is the same as the other pipes. There are 56 total number of 10 foot pieces of pipe needed to make this dome and the total cost of materials at $3.50 is $196. So we have created a very efficient 24 foot 3B dome and an efficient 16 foot 3B dome. Let's try to create an intermediate sized dome that is also efficient. Scroll back to the dome calculator. Let's put 4 feet for the length of the 80 blue struts. Hit Calculate. This creates a dome that is 19 feet 4 inches in diameter. Now let's come down and look at the cost calculation chart. If we look at the blue struts, we now have 2 feet of waste for every pipe. This same amount of extra waste is also true for the yellow and the red struts. The total cost of materials at $3.50 each is $290.50, which is the same cost as would be required for making a 24 foot dome. Now let's scroll back up and change the length of the pipe. I know that at Lowe's they sell 20 foot long pipe for about twice the cost of the 10 foot pipe. So let's change the length to 20 feet and the cost to $7 each. Hit Calculate button. We now see that there is absolutely no waste for the blue struts as each 20 foot piece of pipe now creates 5 struts that are 4 feet long. The same is true for the yellow struts, as five struts come from each 20 foot section of pipe. Likewise, the red struts also create five struts from each 20 foot piece of pipe, 
but there is also a lot of waste at the end, nearly three feet in waste. With this approach, the total waste for all struts is 23.288 feet. There are now 33 pieces of 20-foot pipe needed for a total cost of $231. But can we make this even more efficient? Notice that the red struts are 3 feet 4 and 5 eighths inches. If we could trim off 5 eighths of an inch and get this down to 3 feet 4 inches, we could get 6 red struts from every 20 foot section of pipe. Let's scroll back to the dome calculator and put 3.333 in the red strut field, which is 3 feet 4 inches. This reduced the dome diameter from 19 feet 4 inches down to 9 feet, 19 feet 1 and a half inch, just slightly smaller. We scroll down and see that there is still very little waste on the blue and yellow struts. But the red struts are now completely utilized. Total waste on all struts has been reduced from 23 feet down to 12 feet. The number of pieces of 20 foot pipe has been reduced from 33 pieces down to 32 pieces, which reduced the cost of materials from $231 down to $224. In the next video, we will look at the dome weight chart and the construction diagram. If you have any questions, please call us at 931-858-6892 or go to our website at www.ziptiedomes.com. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and su subscribe to our channel. Thank you.